we are bringing long-range Bluetooth networking to the IoT. Now I see some of you guys in the audience looking at me a little cross-eyed. Every time I say that, people stop and they go, did he say long-range and Bluetooth and networking all in the same sentence? That's exactly what I said. We have liberated Bluetooth from what has consistently held it back by adding range and scalability. It allows us to be able to elevate Bluetooth's game and to be able to deploy innovative Bluetooth solutions into the explosion that is the IoT. So now historically, as we all know, Bluetooth has had some challenges, right? Bluetooth is typically very short range, typically one-to-one -one device connections, and really no concept of being able to access and remotely control Bluetooth devices from a remote network. We have changed all of that. Oops, I forgot to advance the slide. We have developed the world's first long-range Bluetooth routers capable of elevating Bluetooth, Bluetooth's game and allowing us to deploy Bluetooth networks into the IoT. Now we keep hearing about this IoT, 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 Internet of Things. This is a massive market opportunity, $14 trillion by the year 2030. What's interesting about that is that it's being driven heavily by devices. The vast majority of those devices are Bluetooth. There are billions of Bluetooth devices that are currently deployed, existing out there in the market today that we interact with every day. And there are billions more that are being shipped every single year. This is a huge opportunity to create connectivity between those Bluetooth devices and the cloud. So as I said, we have solved those challenges with Bluetooth, but the question is, what did we do? So the first thing that we solved is range. A typical Bluetooth device, when you connect it to a smartphone as an example, maybe you get 10 meters, right? You connect a speaker to a phone, you walk around the corner, and the, and the connection drops. When you take that same Bluetooth device, no change to the Bluetooth device itself, connect it to our long-range Bluetooth routers, we extend that range out to 300 meters of range bi-directional communication, no change to that Bluetooth device. The second is that we can communicate with Bluetooth devices through multiple walls and interior environments. So as an example, like in our homes, we can send a Bluetooth signal and receive that signal back through three walls, sometimes four, depending on what those walls are made out of. We can talk to 22 Bluetooth devices simultaneously from a single Bluetooth router. And if we're just listening to beacons as an example, we can listen to hundreds or thousands of beacons at the same time. The best part about this whole thing is that these Bluetooth routers act as an IoT edge gateway. What that means is that by dropping in a single Bluetooth router in conjunction with the existing network infrastructure that you all have done such an amazing job of putting in place, we can create seamless connectivity between those Bluetooth devices and the cloud. No smartphone, no tablet required. So as everybody knows, you know, Bluetooth typically has been thought of as a small personal area network, short range. But by adding our range extension technology, we're increasing Bluetooth to a local area network. And again, when we combine it with the network infrastructure that's already existing in place in the environments that we interact with every day, we're creating seamless connectivity between those Bluetooth devices and the cloud. So as you can imagine, there are all kinds of industry verticals that this could be applicable for, right? Smart transportation, smart buildings, connected medical, you name it. But what we wanted to do today is we wanted to talk specifically about an application that's very near and dear to our hearts at Cassia and a good example of how we're deploying this technology today. So as we know in, in this country, we have millions of people that are aging and want to be able to age gracefully in their homes, not be torn out of their homes and put in long care facilities. So we went out and we talked to doctors and we said, if we could create a solution that, were, that allowed us to be able to remotely monitor these patients and see what's going on with their health at home without them having to come into the hospital, what would that look like? So as we went out and we talked to these professionals, we heard some very specific things. The first is that no tablet or no smartphone as part of the solution. If you have Bluetooth medical devices in the house, they don't want you to have to use a smartphone or a tablet to get that data back to the doctor. The second is that it needs to be a seamless solution plug and play. The third is that that data from your Bluetooth scale or your blood pressure cuff, your pulse oximeter, all that data needs to be available to the doctor 
or to the loved ones, you know, it could be a father, a mother, a grandparent, grandmother, and concerned kids or children that want to be able to view what's going on with their parents remotely. Data has to be available in the cloud. If we can do those things, we can up the compliance of what people are doing at home in terms of following doctor's orders, but we can also have a massive outcome on the, on the patient experience and the quality of life of people that are aging in place in their homes. So that's what we did. We created a solution that combines our long-range Bluetooth router with a suite of Bluetooth medical devices from our partners, and we can ship that solution directly to your house, or we can send you home from the hospital with a box. You take the Bluetooth router out of the box, you plug it into power and ethernet, and you're done. You put your Bluetooth scale in your bathroom, stand on your scale, the data is back at your doctor on a screen, or on a screen where your children or your loved ones can view it. Take your blood pressure in the morning, same thing, the data is automatically in the cloud. No smartphone, no tablet, easy to use, allows people to age gracefully in their homes while being monitored by the people that care about them. So at this point, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine named Brad. So Brad is at his home in Minnesota. Hey, Brad. Hey, Dave. How are you? Great. So Brad is a husband. Brad's a father. Brad just had a heart attack two weeks ago. Brad's been discharged from the hospital, and Brad's at home doing his prescribed cardiac rehab on a treadmill. Brad's wearing a wrist-worn heart rate device right now, as you can see. And that device is communicating with our Cassia Bluetooth router in his house. That router is connected to his Comcast Wi-Fi network that he has in his house, and the data from that heart rate device can be viewable on the screen. Brad wants to show us your heart rate. There's Brad's heart rate. We can see it live in real time. Could be a doctor, I could be Brad's son, I could be concerned about his well-being at home, I can check in on him anytime I want. Brad, why don't you do a little jogging on the treadmill, we'll see if we can get your heart rate to increase. We'll be able to see Brad's heart rate actually climb. Brad's actually in pretty good shape, so it's kind of hard to get his heart rate to go up. Um, but as you can see, it gives us the ability to monitor in real time what's going on with Brad. There's his heart rate starting to go up right there. Thanks, Brad. Why don't you stop? I don't want you to have another heart attack. <laughs> All right. See so that's a single router solution in somebody's home, and we can scale that up if necessary. Take, for example, a hospital campus. We can deploy as many Bluetooth routers as we need to to create seamless connectivity over that whole entire hospital campus. And then we can place a Bluetooth medical device on patients that maybe, let's say, is broadcasting ECG, heart rate, skin temperature, perspiration. As those patients move around the facility up and down the floors, as they move building to building, maybe they take a walk outside, we can keep them connected all the time. Data constantly flowing to their loved ones and to their doctor screens that need to be able to monitor what's going on. As I said at the beginning, we have liberated Bluetooth from what has consistently held it back. By adding range and scalability, we can create innovative Bluetooth solutions that we can drive into the IoT. By combining our long-range Bluetooth routers with the existing network infrastructure that you all have put in place, we have massive opportunities to generate new streams of revenue over your existing network infrastructure, and in this case, we can have a material impact on the quality of life of the millions of people in this country that are living every single day with chronic medical conditions in their homes or simply want to be able to age in place. Join us at Cassian Networks as we make the near future today. Thank you.